talk to me, spirit. Let's give them something to talk about. If you're new to the channel, welcome and thank you for stopping by. If you like the words that's coming out of my mouth, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, share, become part of the Talk To Me Spirit family. What it do, fam? What's up? Can your homegirl get some love? Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for holding it down. Thank you for being genuine, authentic. Thank you for being you. If no one told you today, you know I love you. And if you breathing, you are achieving. You are too blessed to be stressed. All right? We're going to call in and clear the energy. Call in spirit and clear in the energy. Breathe in. Release. Breathe in. Slowly release and let go. Breathe in and honor everything that's coming to the surface that no longer resonate with your highest good. As you hold in, you're going to see the sun shining above your crown chakra. As everything is coming into the surface, slowly release it and let go into the divine light that's shining above you. Step into your I am presence. Step into your true calling. Step into your true divine self. Step into your true divine being. I am presence. Breathe in. Slowly release. Put your left hand over your heart center. Fall about your right. And show gratitude. And say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, and so it is. Get your handy dandy notebook ready and your pen. The first question is, what traits do you dislike the most about yourself? What traits do you dislike the most about yourself? And then after you write it down, why? So this one has two questions. What traits do you dislike about yourself and why? Insecurities. What are your biggest insecurities? Breathe in and release. What are your biggest insecurities and why? Inner teen. What do you wish someone would have told you as a teenager? What do you wish someone would have told you as a teenager? Following, about, following after that question, do you think it would have helped you? Would you have listened? Release. I've already sat with team. I am the voice of the voiceless. If I can get up to 2,000 followers, I will be doing four giveaways, okay? They will come with one of my uh, watas, okay? They all spiritually picked by my team, and it goes by your energy. I'm finding out through a lot of people that YouTube is unescribing people. So if you're not seeing my uh, videos, Hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. Also, I've been doing sound bowl healing therapy on my TikTok channel. I go live and I do the sound bowls. I do the drums. I do the tuning forks. Imagine that you're sitting on a beach, Indian style, and you're listening to the waves come in and out, 
ebb and flow. You smell the beautiful seawater. You feel the sun shining down on your crown. As you feel yourself being caressed by the sand, the sand is caressing you, healing you, and the ocean is cleansing you as it rush up on your feet, on your legs, taking everything off of you that does not resonate with your higher self. I want you to become one with your higher self. I want you to become one with your inner child. Spirit, can I have one card, please? One card, please? Thank you. You have the elephant spirit strength and wisdom as you sitting there your elephant spirit is coming towards you an elephant is very strong an elephant can tear down a whole tree with its trunk an elephant never forgets by utilizing your exceptional memory you can steadily solve your life and social structures which are strength and wisdom when you feel like you're lacking wisdom when you feel like you don't have the strength to endure call upon your elephant spirit and ask your elephant spirit to help you and guide you at this time become one with your elephant spirit can i get three cards spirit Thank you. Four. Okay, thank you. At the bottom of that, as you grow and grow into your true divine being, when you grow into your true divine light, when you grow into your true divine being, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to be envy of your light. Your light vex them. That is them that is spying on you, trolling on you. Those are the ones that try to become your friends just to get access to you so they can drain you. You cannot heal a narcissist. You cannot heal a, a dark empath. Okay? As I'm speaking, narcissism is a spirit. Okay? Narcissism thrives off negativity thrives off being a Debbie Downer, thrives off. Now, as an empath, we are so full of love that we so excited when people come to us for us to help and to heal and to talk to because we feel like we are that healer. We don't even realize that we're getting caught up into their trap because they draining us and they draining us. And we are a giant sponge, so we absorbing all of that into our core. So this is how empaths get confused because they don't know what's theirs and what's not theirs. Okay? So you need to learn to sit and ground. If you cannot get outside barefoot in the grass, not the concrete, because the concrete is man-made ground in water and learn to release a lot of people are very envious of you you could be 20 years old you could be a life path number two right they thinking of you some of them have you have cut out and then some of them have disappeared we are in the pre-shadow of mercury retrograde and it's get ready to go uh, retrograde so retrograde and mercury means communication problems technology problems people from your past coming back petty arguments this person could be 47 years old you could be 47 years old 47 breaks down to 11 you could be a life path number 11 they are thinking of you they thinking of all the things that you've done to them or they done to you some of them is good, some of them is bad. Some of your enemies is trying to stir the pot up again because they want people to hate you because they hate you. But the truth is 
is going to come through. You have the angel of strength. You could be 50 years old, okay? 50 breaks down to five. You have the angel of strength holding you up right now. This goes back to the elephant spirit. The elephant spirit is very strong. So when you feel like you cannot hold it up, call and connect with your animal spirit, the elephant, the lion, okay? You are a healer of all ages. You could be 51 years old, 51 breaks down to six. Some of y'all are very majestic. Your energy vexed their light, okay? You are the magician. You are the alchemist. You can transmute any negativity into positivity. You can adapt to anything. You could be 53 years old. 53 breaks down to 8. You could be life path number 8. You could be born of the year of the dragon, which is the 8th year, okay? You are the magician in the, uh, in the uh, mirror. You are the phoenix rising. You walk with the yin and the yang. You walk with the light and the dark. That makes you a healer of all ages. Healers don't really heal people. You bring out what triggers them and you help them deal with it. You help them deal with those issues. Your job is to guide them. Once again, when you feel like you're low, you are radiating on a low, you uh, you on fumes, you weak, you tired. Yes. People get tired. Spiritual people get tired. Okay? Call upon your elephant spirit at this time. Okay? Your lion spirit at this time. You are of uh, embodiment of the light. You hold a lot of DNA light codes. You hold a lot of blueprint light codes. You are part of the tree of life. You have many secrets. A lot of y'all could be 21. 21 breaks down to three. You could be uh, life path number three. All right. A lot of y'all are fury. Y'all have a lot of rage. It's like you passive aggressive. Spirit is saying, he who angers you control you. But sometimes you have to show people that you're not weak. And that's understandable. This Lion Gates portal that is going to be happening in August on 8th, 8th, is going to bring you into balance, okay? You're going to go through a major transformation. You could be 56 years old, 56 break down to 11. You could be a life path number 11, okay? You are going through, you're going to meet your companionship. By you going through this transformation, it's going to bring in the right people that's going to be with you. You could be 57 years old. 57 breaks down to 13. 13 is a very powerful. 13 is the letter M. You are that miracle. All right? You are that miracle. What messages do we have for them, Spirit? You tired of the drama. You don't want to hear it. You tired of people talking to you like you crazy. It's like you're not putting it up no more. So during this transformation, during this fury, during that Phoenix rising, and you stepping into who you truly are, you're going to start saying no a lot. A lot of y'all going to be starting saying no. A lot of y'all going to start blocking people. A lot of y'all just going to just say, I don't got time for this. Because you're starting to see that is draining you. You're starting to see that they are a true narcissist, a dark empath. You're starting to run away, walk away. You don't want to hear it anymore. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. You're going through a major transformation. You are walking into expecting your new beginnings. Okay, you're tired of making bad choices. You're tired of the toxic people. You're watching shit go down. And you're learning to just be more observant, to sit in silence. You're not enjoying the gossip anymore. You're starting to let the enemies tell on their self. Okay, you're starting to say, oh, okay. The spirit is telling you just watch and see. A situation that's about to explode. Uh, shit's about to pop off in flames. Your enemies are getting their karma and their judgment, and they don't understand why. And then when they say, who is this messing with me? 
they see your face and they think you're doing something but honestly it's your ancestors reminding them what they done to you so they go get an angry mom and they start lying and saying this person's doing this this person's doing this okay this person is a manipulator because they show me a tongue to a, a tongue splitting too so what they doing is they forgetting what they done to you but spirit never forget so they getting attacked they getting their karma and they think you're the one doing it so they orchestrating trying to hurt you but they just don't know they dig in their grave deeper and deeper and deeper they are getting played they try to manipulate you they try to control you they try to tell these lies about you but they didn't realize that you was a seed okay they tried to silence your voice but they didn't realize you're the voice of the voiceless you are starting to see everything fold you start to see their judgment is being done for you okay they trying to some of them are knowing they did wrong and they trying to reverse that curse and spirit said no you can't you put it out there you did the crime so you're going to do the time all right their curse, their supernatural, their dilemma, their maleficence is backfiring on them. That curse they put on you, they seeing that you are different. They can't understand. I see death coming from them. They leave and reject, separated. They are, some of them, they are digging their own grave because of the curse. That curse of death magic, that curse of black magic just backfired and it's hitting them hard. And anybody else that's orchestrating with them is getting it too, okay? It's like they feeling a meteor, okay? This is a extremely fast fleeting loss. They lost focus. They was warned not to do it. And because like I said, karma comes when karma comes. And sometimes you forget all about it. And then when karma comes, you be like, what is happening? Why am I losing everything? And they slightly show you the person that you did that curse to. And in your Dululu mind, you think that person done something. And actually, that's God. Get revenge. Okay? Stay focused in this serious thing. A lot of y'all are upgrading. A lot of y'all are daydreaming. Okay? A lot of y'all are getting more sensitive. Y'all starting to not dislike uh liquor you starting to dislike the drama you starting to dislike certain foods okay y'all are starting to make up a decision this is a restart someone pick hit the restart button i don't know who i'm speaking to what other messages do you have for them six of cups nine of cups rewards of your labor rewards of your labor that's why i said they get in their karma and and they ask their spirits what's going on and their spirits will show your face so in their delulu mind they think that you're really doing something but it's not it's payback for what they done because they forgot okay you starting to find the light within you you starting to understand you are the divine diamond light okay this is what spirit is saying you giving and you receiving you are on the receiving end at this time strength is coming to you connect to the elephant spirit okay this is what i'm hearing harmony restored all these jealous people that stabbed you in the back that did stuff you are stepping in balance because you are being reset harmony is being restored they are getting everything that they've done for you and because they forgot they think you're doing something, but Spirit is saying, no worries, you're divinely protected, all right? You have two angel numbers, you have 222, two, two. alignment, stepping into balance, you're stepping into alignment, connection, friendship, romantic relationships, family ties, balance, life, choices, compromise, commitment, trust. How do you move forward towards your life's true calling? Do what makes you happy. Your enthusiasm is what keeps you going. Follow your interest in this petite, but by something. Following these roots will help you discover your life's purpose. Then you have 1331. Good fortune is coming towards you. Good advice, okay? You're getting that comfort. Major change, okay? Individuality, independence. You're starting to say, I don't need nobody else but me, myself, and I. Having faith in your skills and talents as they are a tool that can provide you with a bright future, a piece of good advice, a moment of enlightenment, or a comforting message is on its way. Everything will work out in your favor. This is what Spirit is saying. Hold on. They coming, okay? Message from the universe. 
every situation in life is temporary so when life is good make sure you enjoy and receive it fully when life is not so good remember that it will not last forever better days are on the way because they are coming i see you peace love and light i shall